Hey everybody, it's Brittany with Fully Devoted and welcome back to my channel. Here at Fully Devoted, we're all about growing in God and staying rooted in God. So if the content on this channel, if it helps you, if it blesses you or inspires you in any way at all, please, please, please make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate your support. So we are in the final, yes, final, the final week of our series and it's called Who Said That? The series is adapted from the Daily Grace Bible study. It's called 30 Truths for Common Lies. This is such a powerful study and it's helped me so much. I wanted to make sure that you guys check this study out. So I will put a link in the description box below. But we have been in this series for the last few months and we have learned how to reject the lies of the enemy. Lies like we're failures. Lies that, you know, everyone has it together but us. Lies like our circumstances will never change. We've learned to reject all of those lies and then at the same time start accepting the truth of God's word and who it is that God has called us to be. So for our final study in this series, we're going to explore the lie, what I have to say doesn't matter. Have you ever had an idea or you wanted to try something new or uh, maybe you wanted to speak up in a situation, right? But there was something on the inside of you that just held you back. Maybe because you felt ill-equipped or because you were afraid or maybe it was because you brought into the lie that what you have to say doesn't matter. I know I thought this lie before. One of my favorite Bible study characters to study is Gideon. And you can find his story in Judges chapter six through eight. But when we're first introduced to Gideon in Judges, we find him secretly hiding away in a wine press, which is like a cave. And he's there threshing or sorting out wheat. And he's there secretly because he's afraid and he's hiding out from his enemies, the Midianites. Okay, stick with me to this little Bible study lesson, okay? I promise we're going somewhere. But an angel of the Lord appears to Gideon in this wine press and he tells Gideon that the Lord is with him. And he calls Gideon a mighty man of valor or a mighty warrior. So this is quite ironic to me because here Gideon is, he's hiding out in a cave. He's hiding out from his enemies, but the angel of the Lord calls Gideon a man of courage, a man of valor. Ironic, right? So at first, Gideon, he didn't see himself the way that God saw him. He responded to God's call with fear. He had some excuses. He said things like, you know, my clan is the weakest. I'm the least in my family. But I love this story so much because we see how God, he takes Gideon step by step, moment by moment, until Gideon becomes courageous and starts to see himself the way that God sees him. Maybe like Gideon right now, you don't see yourself the way that God sees you. Maybe you feel like what you have to say doesn't matter. Well, friends, I want you to know that that's a lie from the enemy. There are some people that absolutely need to hear what you have to say. God has given each and every single one of us a voice to use in this earth. And it's time for us to stop remaining silent and say what it is that God has called us to say. I love how the study puts it. It says that God has created each and every one of us with unique giftings. God intentionally uses our experiences and our personalities to speak words that impact others. Listen, there are some people who will only be able to receive the gospel because the way that you deliver it, God has given each and every single one of us a sphere of influence. There are some people who watch my videos and they hear my voice, they hear um, what I'm saying, and they may start to cringe like, ooh, I don't like this girl. But then there's a whole nother group of people who love what I have to say and maybe I feel like a breath of fresh air to them, right? So we all have our own sphere of influences and our own audiences and our own people. And my prayer for you is that you never, ever, ever underestimate the power of your voice. And I pray that you embrace who it is that God has called you to be and embrace your voice and use it boldly and wisely. So the next time that the lie comes to you that what you have to say doesn't matter, I want you to ask yourself, who said that? And dismiss that lie. 
rely on the power of the Holy Spirit and use your voice. Friends, I pray that this series has helped you in some kind of way and that you hold on to the truth of God's word. As always, please, please, please continue to stay rooted in God. We'll talk again really, really soon. Peace.